Hey, what's up? I'm Trace and this is D News and it turns out your DNA is as corrupt as a bad hard drive. When scientists sequenced the human genome, they found out that 8% of our DNA is actually like dead viruses and stuff that have infected us throughout our evolution. A virus is the smallest form of life that can exist. It's essentially DNA and proteins wrapped in a liquid coating. But retroviruses are even more interesting because they are RNA instead of DNA. Now, if you bring back your eighth grade biology lessons, then you'll remember that RNA has to copy itself onto the host in order to reproduce. And it turns out that scientists can use this to edit strands of DNA. You might recognize the word retrovirus from science fiction, where it's been used as an explanation for vampirism, werewolfism, zombification. But in reality, the scientific application is almost as mystical. For example, pacemakers are used when people's hearts don't beat properly. It creates an electric charge and causes the muscles of the heart to contract and pump the blood. But Researchers at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute have used retroviruses to do something incredible. Inside of the heart are billions of cells, and an astonishingly small number, about 10,000 of them, are SAN cells, which are the heart's natural pacemaker cells. And when they start to go bad, the heart starts to beat funny. So researchers used a retrovirus to reprogram regular muscle cells to become sand cells in an adult patient. How they accomplished this was straight out of science fiction. They used a retrovirus that they had reprogrammed to infect normal heart tissue, and as they were infected, they began to transform into these sand cells. And if that little miracle wasn't enough for you, then how about this little girl who had leukemia? She was diagnosed when she was five, and by the time she was six, it was so bad that they started to explore experimental treatment. Using a disabled version of a little retrovirus you might have heard of called HIV, yeah, that HIV. Scientists took her immunity cells, called T cells, out of her body, and then they used the retrovirus to give new instructions to these cells to attack the cancer. Once they put her immunity cells back into her, she got immediately worse. And not because now she had HIV, but because once the T cells were in the presence of the cancer that they now knew how to fight, a battle raged inside of her system causing fevers and swelling and all sorts of other things. But a week later, she woke up on her seventh birthday and since then, her cancer is now in remission. It may seem like a miracle, but it's just science. Do you have a favorite tale from the canon of science miracles? Share it with us in the comments below. And DNews makes three videos a day, so make sure you subscribe because you wouldn't want to miss Apocalypse Week. My next segment is about how we're going to avoid being hit by giant asteroids. And there is no Bruce Willis in this plan. Zero Bruce Willis. So thanks for watching, guys. You have a great one. Catch you later.